Hi, I'm Tracy O'Berry Covey. I'm an artist and we are in my studio. Welcome. I studied um, art and graphic design at the University of Utah. And I, when I was a little girl, I always knew that I wanted to be an artist and loved to make things and to color and draw. And so there was never any question in my mind what I would be when I grew up. I um, really enjoyed school. I studied under Sam Wilson and um, Tony Smith and Paul Davis and for painting and drawing and then um, I majored in graphic design and illustration and uh, studied under McCray Magleby and Ray Morales at the U. Uh, McCray Magleby was a, a mentor of mine. He did very illustrative graphic design and that's um, what I love to do too. So I'm sure when you look at my paintings and my work you will see a strong design influence from that background. I love line and shape and color and working with those things. Um, I grew up in Salt Lake City and have lived here pretty much my whole life and enjoy the, the uh, natural environment that we have here. Nature is a really strong inspiration in my work. Um, I love being outdoors and animals and plants and good food and uh, things that grow in the earth really feed my soul and oftentimes show up in my artwork. Um, so that, that comes through in my art. Um, I, I kind of call it the, the grace and joy of every day and the spirit of nature. So my artwork, um, while it is representational, it's very stylized and abstracted. And um, things that inspire me get filtered through my imagination and um, into my artwork. So let's see, I do murals. I do paintings, I do designs for metal sculptures. I've been doing a lot of um, art for public spaces recently, which has been so exciting. I love doing murals and uh, metal sculptures. Um, these are some little scale models from, uh, they're made out of paper for uh, some metal silhouettes that were designed for the um, Note District, the North Temple District. Uh, downtown. It was the entrance and welcoming um, entrance to the neighborhood of that uh, area in downtown Salt Lake City. And it, there's also a large mural that's on a utility box there. This is another um, little scale model made out of paper for one of the flying objects um, things on artworks on 3rd South. All the art on the poles. Two birds drinking um, out of a teacup. It's called Drinking It In. Um, tea is another one of those uh, inspiring things for me. I think I just, I like the aspect of um, centering yourself with a cup of tea or the idea of, of convers conversing with a friend or loved one and just finding some peace and calm. So that's another, uh, I've done a series of teacups in my artwork as well. My studio is in a little pioneer cottage um, in downtown Salt Lake City. It's got wonderful natural light from a skylight. You know, it's kind of a tiny space to work, but it's got lots of storage and a um, little grass out front. It's a nice, sweet spot to work in. I have my wall of inspiration. And my drawing table. I do gouaches and smaller pieces. When I get inspiration and ideas, I often just run, jot them down really quickly in my sketchbook, um, just to capture a loose sketch of uh, what I have in my mind. And I've been doing a lot of trees and landscape things lately. This is um, actually a, a sketch on tracing paper of that tree painting that was behind me. I often work in tracing paper so that I can uh, just lay a piece of tracing paper over and refine and redesign my drawing or refine some of the shapes and lines. These are some of the sketches for the airport mural. Um, again, using tracing paper and I work really small in um, thumbnails, uh, particularly with this project uh, because it's so large. Working tiny really helped. <laughs> Um, to refine all the animals and research animals, but I do go through a lot of iterations um, and research when I'm doing a project like that. And sometimes they're just little, little tiny, tiny sketches, just so that I can capture them on paper and and remember what my train of thought was um, and what I want to see happen. 
um, in my art.